Welcome back to Beth Plays The Sims. And for me, it's morning. For my Sims, it's PM. It is Saturday afternoon. Let me bring you up to date on what was going on. Over the couple of days or the couple of um, hours that I was playing off camera, Jill was born and aged up to a toddler. And this is uh, Brooklyn, you remember her. And this is Jill. Her last name is Dracula because that's her father's last name. So she was um, aged up to a toddler as well. And Brooklyn is now a toddler. Gemma moved out. Cecilia is pregnant once again. We are working on skills to grow them up. Eck is a B student and it's really hard for some reason. Helix, yeah, Helix. Lyle is almost there. But Helix is a little... It, it's getting pretty hard to get him to where he has to go because it's taking forever. And even though it is the game considers this house as a... A tiny home I don't see the skills raising fast I don't know if that's a glitch or what's going on but I have been working with him and him he's asleep he is a slob he likes to sleep in the trash can I didn't get a picture of that but he likes to sleep in the trash can and uh, let me move this tablet over here the kids need this and also the toddlers are having trouble um, raising their skills because it's taking forever uh, I think the last this little one she still needs communication movement and potty and thinking I don't know really hard to get their skills up and of course she just grew up she's our little Dwakula's uh, daughter now um, I am concerned with Cecilia she is getting older she is right about there 35 days and um, this little guy, the new little guy, his name is Brian. And I need to find a matriarch that is not a vampire for the next uh, set of children to have. And I'm hoping that we do have a girl. And I'm going to start prepping if this one that she is carrying now is a girl. This is the father. Uh, I don't know his name because I always have headline effects off. Dreisten, Rookhagen, and... If she is carrying a girl, then we are going to start prepping that little girl into the next matriarch by her skills and stuff and really honing on her. And if not, then we're just going to continue because she is getting close. And I said that once we get to the Z, we are going to go ahead and start prepping the next matriarch. But for today, um, she eating for two. She's going to be in her second trimester in 24 hours. She did fail to conceive once. Uh, but she did try again and with him so we'll see what happens she's been feeling really ill I think she is Saturday I think she's gonna make an appointment to the doctor for the kids I did get announced Dennis not the doctor but the dentist had called to uh, inform us that the, the little ones um, all the little ones needed a dentist appointment and Jill should visit the dentist for her routine cleaning so we have that to do but right now since it is uh, six o'clock in the afternoon we're gonna go ahead and make an appointment to the doctor and have them go get checked out because these two guys have asked to stay home because they have been feeling sick make a schedule appointment for these three and then we'll see how that works out helix and lyle need a caregiver to accompany them no suitable caregiver was found please keep in mind that the caregiver could not also be a patient oh my goodness um so okay um let's just take them then health schedule for him and him and see how are they doing this is the caregiver i'm gonna take them for sick because so sorry to hear that your, your next available opening will be in 30 minutes that means we're going to have a night uh, appointment i wasn't planning for this but it is a needed thing to do this i'm gonna go ahead and meet you guys there okay so we made it we're here at the clinic and apparently everybody's wearing bags on their head so we can't really see their faces I don't know what happened. I have to find a way to disable all that. But they're here. She's going to check in the kids. And I guess they're going to have to wait. Because they both have been complaining about being sick. And they missed school yesterday. Um, they want to do Okay. So once done, drop your cup at the nearest. Okay. Now these two kids have to go and pee in a cup. Because they complained about being sick. Uh, pee in a cup. Oh my goodness. They leave it right there. That is not a proper place to leave your pee. All right, now they have to go and check their blood pressure. So at least there's two of these. So no, you're not falling asleep. You said you were um, tired, sick, and we brought you to the doctor because two days off of school, that was too much. Um, where are you at? We received unnecessary data, his face. 
uh, wait for the health checkup results. So we're going to go and wait for the health checkup. Is there another room? Or is there going to be like... This is a very weird uh, clinic. I think I need to make my own clinic. Uh, Helix just took a flu shot. Okay. Uh, oh, let's see. Good news. Helix lives, has completed his sickness diagnosis and has not diagnosed any disease. At the time he starts feeling ill, he will need to schedule for sick visit. I did. Additionally, health information can be found in Helix's report on myhealthportal.app. Whatever. Okay. So. Can we get medication for the kids? Wait, Lyo has completed his checkup. Lyo under is healthy weight. Okay, so he Helix is underweight. High blood pressure for him, and he has to come back in seven days. And he just took the. Okay, can you guys like? Oh, look at that. He can purchase. Okay, so we need at least two of these. Uh, let's get five of these because or. Everybody's going to get sick. Private practice clear. Yeah, for allergies, the flu, just in case we need a private practice. One dose every provides in treatment or I don't know if this is for toddlers because my toddler was complaining the other day that he had an earache. All right, now we have to go check out and pay the bill before they charge us. Um, check out 2500 is going to cost me plus the medication plus waiting here all night. We're going to head home, guys. All right. Since you're outside already, um, is there any bills to pay? Get the mail. And let's see how everybody is doing. Oh, are the little ones waking up? They are waking up. Now, it is Sunday morning, guys. Usually, Sunday is time to really hone in on the skills and get everything, you know, prepped. I'm going to really look at this guy. He is going to go to sleep at the trash can because he is tired. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and have them, um, take care of their needs first of all, and then go to sleep in a bed, not the trash can and YouTube bladder and sleep. And then we're going to see if we can focus in on these little ones. Um, this little one that should be growing up very soon movement she loves to move okay so she she's working on her things and her communication and stuff and her movement and everything but as you can see it is very slow and with the tiny home you're supposed to have your skills go up very fast that's not happening so my toddlers are you gonna go to sleep again you're not how is it that they get tired so soon how about you, little one? Are you going to go to sleep too? No, you're going to go talk to your brother. Let's not do that. Let's change her into her every day. Uh, and then when Sissy gets up, we'll go ahead and get her dressed up. But look at how cute this little outfit. Let me see. Uh, she's so cute. Look at this little outfit. She's got her kitty little sweater. Let's see if I can... Look at this. This is so cute. Yeah, she's a little pale. We need to give her some um, some color. But now she says she's hungry. So we're going to go over here. Yeah, mama's been trying. I got a mod where actual things that pregnant women or preg pregnant sims were not allowed to do in the sims because they were pregnant. Um, actually fixes that where they can swim. They can exercise like a normal pregnant uh, person they don't need to be you know kept from that because they're pregnant we're not going to the festival but she's gonna get something to eat I really want to work on her skills and maybe the next uh, part is gonna be all about skill building tomorrow is uh, Monday and these kids really need to go to school ready for school he has completed that but I really I think this is his um yeah after he takes a nap oh my goodness he did not take a shot he 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 loves that i'm gonna have him play some arcade games and then i'm gonna go ahead and have him finish that and one of them in their inventory um oh you have all the medication wow that's not safe at all if not i'll just get him another one no we don't want to talk to you okay so 
we're gonna go ahead and um, not you I don't know whose project that is because if it's not either one of them I'm just gonna throw it away we don't need to keep things like that around now I thought I had some in their inventory but I guess not did you finish eating little one um, let's work on your tablet and see if that helps you oh well how are you feeling right now okay let's get you on the tablet and see if we can work on anything what are your skills like anything would help I guess oh my goodness gracious okay play simple shape and let's just go ahead and I think that's imagination thinking and look 25 it's 1205 right now I'm gonna put it on three And it takes them more than three hours to get like 5% done. Well, it did before. Um, Mama, take care of the little one. I don't know why they gave them a pink. And I'm not sure if little Brian. Mom, you can eat later. The baby is hungry. Number one is the baby. Number two is you. Plus, you had a little snack there. I think that's all you need. Uh, this little guy. He belongs to... Let's see if I can find him. Because I can never find him. Uh, Brian Lumos. And I believe he's at the bottom somewhere. Brian Lumos. I think it's easier if I just show you. Um, where should be on the other side? There's a lot of them that are still missing. I don't understand. Who's this little? Oh, Journey. Okay, this one is this guy. And he looks like a vampire, but I don't know. Uh, I did not get the crib for the child. Um, and I didn't know about her until she actually became a toddler that she was a little vampire because there's always that chance because of Cecilia that you don't get a vampire immediately. So I'm hoping, we still have a couple of minutes, I'm hoping that uh, we can actually, I think that his birthday is tomorrow. Let's see. Her birthday, we're going to have to grow up without her skills because her birthday is here and if she's not there, I think the baby's birthday is today. So good. You guys are able to watch it. And then we will end with that. Okay, Mom, I need you to come over here and uh, age up. Okay? That way we can get this little one uh, into the toddler group. Okay. And he's going to be very inquisitive. Um, the truth he is not a vampire. He's just a normal little kid. If you guys have any uh, tips on how to get the skills up a little faster, then go ahead and comment down below and let me know so I can, you know, get them moving along because this little one is going to grow up and she doesn't have her skills and I really don't want to grow them up um, without having their skills, which is at, there you guys go. Till next video. Bye for now.